Okay, we're trying to configure the MV7 with GarageBand and also, so I normally, you would run over here, right? And your sound system is for the Mac OS and put your output and then your input as the MV7. Uh, the reason I, you know, if, because I'm recording, I usually use in-ears here. So this is the um, in-ears microphone that's attached to the USB 7. So it's very convenient. I don't have the big headphones, so this is the in-ears right here. So anyway, if I start the garage band, um, it usually doesn't pick it up right away what you did in the system settings. Uh, I'm constantly on Zoom, so the first thing that comes out here is the Zoom audio device uh, for the input. And um, and the, probably the reason why you're here is that you want to figure out how to configure the MV, Shure MV7 into GarageBand so you can do a lot more recording. Uh, so what I normally do is I, I delete this track, which comes out, right? And then get rid of it so you get this interface, uh, you know, creating a new track. So obviously because you're trying to use a, a microphone, this is what you select. And uh, See, when you, if you did the same thing, if you just create it, obviously you'll get the Zoom audio device. Um, if you did not know, this area is actually clickable. It's not very specific, unlike here where you can do a selection, right? Uh, it's, it's clickable. You know, it's clickable. This looks like a comment. So what? Well, in order for your MV7, you know, recognized by uh, GarageBand, you have to click on this device, uh, th this area, so now you see it, right? So the input device will be your SM7. And then the same thing as the output device, I would recommend uh, whatever you have, but because you already have the Shure S M MB7, which has a you know microphone uh, attachment to it or a, a socket to it, you, you select that as well. So once that's there, see, it's changed, right? Did you see that? Shure uh, MV7 and just close this one for now and then all you have to do is create the track and voila you see this uh it it recognized the mv7 so anyways that's a quick tutorial on how to configure your sure mv7 with garage band because it's not very straightforward uh, i actually tried to look for something uh, a video tutorial on youtube and i couldn't find it so anyways um i hope this helps thank you